All right, all right, all right. In today's video, as promised, we are going to feed Black Widows and all those other Widows that we got in recent video. Also, I need to explain the... Basically, in that unboxing video, I had a huge brain fart moment where I mixed some labels and mixed some species, but it is all been... Everything is all right. And also, I got a batch of acrylic enclosures so we can move those that we weren't able to rehouse in the last video. Also, I got the small acrylic enclosures that got front opening door, you see? So we can also do that and some other goodies. Yeah, if you were waiting for the restock of the acrylic enclosures on the web shop, hurry, hurry and get yours today. Link is in the description. Uh, let me just show you how dark then looks at the moment. Look at this. It is like a big storage. I have boxes of enclosures, more enclosures, more enclosures. And this is actually, you see, this is how I got them packed from manufacturer, but this is not good enough for shipping. And therefore, the first batch of enclosures that I was sending, I was kind of winging it, but now, I'm a bit more professional with it and you see I have the corners, this, these spongy corners and also this around it for extra protection, extra security. But as I said, the dark den is huge mess. You see all of these, these are the corners and I have a lot of them, this whole box. Also, I'm building enclosures for next expo. These all are finished and just need to be picked while over there I have some glass and also here I have glass and I have more glass coming so I can build enough enclosures for next expo in Germany uh, that is by the end of this month although I still didn't get the table but just a quick update in regards to the situation I got the table and the uh, expo is in Weinstadt and all the information you will find in the description and also I've written down when the expo is so see you there now before we start with the spiders I have one spider outside that I want to catch. As you know, I said that I have some similar spiders around, the spiders that are actually in the junglearium and I'm trying to get rid of them. Uh, currently, I still have few inside, but I can't get to them, so I cannot really catch them. But outside, I know a spot where one is, so let's pick that female. And I'm kind of doing that last minute because we are losing the daylight outside. By the way, look at this more enclosures outside i have the storage outside i like space but look at this the construction of my garage slash workshop finally begun and yeah hopefully soon i will have like a dedicated spot for building enclosures not only building but also storing everything all of that stuff and i will finally free the dark den from stuff yeah um the spider is right here and sorry for the dogs barking they are neighbors and they see other dogs outside so they're kind of like losing their mind see this is how i know that this is a female there's an exec and i will leave this exec and i will only take the the spider yeah and if you look closely oh, no i won't be able to do it like that burr, 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 burr. It basically looks like a black widow, except it is completely black without any markings. Um, just a second, I need two hands for this. Come on, Mrs. Spider. There we go. She is in the cup. Great, great, great. Of course, if someone knows which species this could be, uh, feel free to write it in the comments, because I have no idea. Once I rehouse it, you will be able to see it better, but yeah, this is basically it. Just a black spider, completely a black spider. <laughs> no markings on anything, even on underside. Although maybe we will see something when we uh, add more light and zoom it closer because currently I cannot really see that good underneath. Yeah, anyhow, let me now try to clarify the confusion I did in unboxing video. As you know, among all the widows that I ordered, I also ordered a black recluse spiders and these were sorry for the reflection but these were labeled as brown recluse and i was like there is no way that this is that spider i never seen them personally but i have seen the pictures and these are definitely not dead and they aren't because for some reason i read the labels wrong they were labeled with just initials and not full scientific name so for some reason i just read it wrong and actually i know why i read it wrong because 
In one enclosure, as you know, there were four spiders. And as I ordered four of Latrodectus Obscurior, as I ordered four, I just, my mind just said, those are those four spiders. And I wasn't even thinking when I was reading those initials. And inside of that enclosure, there weren't Latrodectus spiders, but actually those were the brown recluse. Since they were super tiny and all immediately hid, I didn't get a closer look at them. And therefore I didn't even spot that those are actually brown recluse spiders. If you watch the video, you will see that. I didn't even record them while I was recording these, assuming that those are brown recluse, but those are actually Latrodectus obscurior. I mixed them up and I got an extra brown recluse. Even though I ordered three, I got four, and that's why there were four in that enclosure and not three. And yeah, it is actually a super ironical situation because you know how regular people, when they see a spider, they, they immediately assume that it is a brown recluse and every spider is, oh no, that's a brown recluse, brown recluse, everything looks like a brown recluse. And now I actually mixed up um, some brown widow species with an actual brown recluse. And even though I noticed that it is not that, I still was like kind of not sure, which is hilarious. Anyhow, that is what it is. And when I figure it out, I immediately rehouse the real brown recluse. And let me see if we can, if we can actually find it. This tiny, tiny spider. That is a brown recluse spider, you see? Not much to see. So there is one. And the other one is, this one is a bit bigger and it kind of looks, it would potentially bolt outside, but hopefully that won't happen. Uh, we are going to also feed it a bit later after we rehouse this unknown spider that we caught. That will go into one enclosure and I will take the biggest uh, Latroductus house, Latrodectus obscurior. I will take the biggest female and I'll put her inside of this and I'm going to rehouse all the rest. You know, I still have more, but I won't be doing that in this video because yeah, no point in doing same rehouses five times now. Or actually I will also rehouse another one that is smaller and I'm going to rehouse it into this enclosure to show off the capabilities of the front opening micro acrylic enclosure. You see, the logo didn't fit on front, so we put it on the side. <laughs> because the other alternative was to put it on the door and that would obstruct the view. And on the back also the logo would, wouldn't be visible, so on the side it is. Oh, and I also forgot that the manufacturer made a mistake, you see. The door actually opened on the wrong side. I want them to be opened on this side like all other enclosures. But they made it like this. So I'm not really sure if I will put these on the web shop. Maybe I will put them up, but I will do the disclaimer that next batch will have doors facing the other way. So for all of you that are kind of like me and want to have all the same enclosures, you might want to wait for next batch. But first, let's actually feed one and it will be the Latrodectus mena vodi, although <laughs> there is a bit too much web to see her properly. But you see, this is how she webbed. Her web is really messy and without any pattern or anything. And she actually molted. I don't know if there is a mold that I can show you. No, it looks like it's gone. I think I removed it, but I'm not sure, honestly. Anyhow, I'm wondering if I put a roach here on the web, like somewhere in the middle, if that will just lure her. In theory, it should, so let's try that out. And I will try to hurt roach a bit so he doesn't struggle too much. Because from what I have seen, their web is not really that sticky. I'm not really sure how they catch prey in nature. So this would be ideal if she would just come to this roach. Come on, black. Oh, Ooh, she's actually fast. Yes, 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 yes. Huh? You see her? We we just need a little bit more movement from the... Oh, please focus. Ooh, she's already webbing. She's webbing the road, you see? And... Hmm. Her legs are kind of bent weirdly in the, in the knees, you see? Interesting. But look at this, look at this. Nice close-up action, although I i didn't really spot if she bit the roach or she is going for it now. Is she? Ah, yeah, I see. She's now checking where, oh, there's the, or is it? Too bad this is not a macro lens. I'm not really sure what is happening. Oh, yeah, I think that she bit it now. 
sweet. Now she's spreading more of that web. Nice, nice, nice. And see how tiny her abdomen is now. You will, especially when you compare it with other widows that we have. It is because, of course, she is freshly molted, so she needs to fill it up quick, quick, quick. And this roach will be perfect for that. You actually have a front row seat to the amazing black widow eating roach action, right? Let me quickly grab a macro lens. I actually missed now some nice things. She took a few web lines off the roach, I guess, so she can move it easily. Or something like that, yeah. Oh, but this is such a cool shot. You can see the... Can you see the fangs? Oh, man, 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 I need more, more gear. I need a tripod quickly, quickly. And additional light. There we go. Now just look at this shot. Perfect! I'm only kind of sad that she is turned on the other way so we cannot see the fangs and what is happening. Actually, I can turn the enclosure a bit, maybe. Hopefully that won't disturb her. Okay, okay. Can we see now? Honestly, her fangs are super small, so I don't see how it is biting or injecting venom or whatever it is doing. Maybe it will be better on the big screen. But she is definitely biting the roach. By its boot, you see? <laughs> awesome, awesome. And you can now see really well how the legs are some weirdly bent in the knees. And look how there is a, a huge knee on this section right here. Oh, something is happening. What is she doing? Is she webbing more or... Nah, she's just biting a bit more. Uh, you know what would be the cool thing to just leave the camera like this and record a time lapse of, of her munching on the roach. We would probably be able to see how this abdomen expands. But for that to happen, first the venom needs to kick in, right? And the venom then liquefies everything inside and only then the spider can actually suck its prey dry. So maybe we have time. We can actually record other feeding videos and rehouses and everything and then I can set the camera and let it record like this. We will see what will be the status once we finish with everything here. Um, yeah, this, this is just a perfect thumbnail, right? Oh, more flipping or something. See? I'm wondering if she will take it with her. It looks like she is trying to move it away or something like that. What is she doing? Webbing? She's webbing or... Oh, she's biting the lines, you see? You could actually see how she pulled lines from her web. Oh, awesome that I have that on footage also. Sweet, what are you doing now? And she got more work. She's now messing with this branch that is hanging in her web. She doesn't like it, I guess. Going somewhere? Will she now leave the prey and wait for it to, to liquefy inside? Yeah, I guess that is what is happening now. Or she's coming back now. Yeah, she's doing something with web. Probably securing it more or separating it or whatever. Yeah, take, I don't know, she's biting it again. Huh. And she's now taking it somewhere and my camera battery is dying. Hopefully we'll, it will survive just a little bit more. So we see what will happen with the roach. Yeah, she's now bringing it all the way up. Ah, that is kind of shame because we cannot record it as good over there, but... Okay, this was a nice experience, right? I never seen how black widows handle their prey in such a detail and so up close. Nice, nice, nice. With fresh battery in, I can remove all the this macro lens and light. And we can feed the other Latrodectus, I always forget how it's pronounced. Latrodectus geometricus, that's the next one. And I'm kind of unsure which one I want to feed because this one that is in easier to access enclosure with front opening is actually, the abdomen is huge, so I don't think it is smart to feed it now. And the other one with a bit smaller abdomen, the enclosure got top door and there is, as you can see, everything is lifting because she webbed on top of it. But okay, maybe it is not as bad as I thought. Okay, we can actually do it like this. It's no problem. <laughs> I thought that I will ruin the entire web if I open the enclosure. But I will offer her a smaller roach. Yeah, just like that. So she doesn't fatten up too much. And there we go. 
immediately she's going for it and oh yes 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 it appears that widows are actually easy to record you see i mean easy to make feeding videos with and she's webbing it so much uh macro lens macro lens although by the time i set up the macro lens you see she's already done with webbing damn the reason why i didn't have a macro lens immediately ready is because you never know how the feeding will go and if roach moves a bit then tracking it with macro lens is terrible thing but still we got some nice footage right maybe maybe more webbing after all when <laughs> you see how her abdomen is plump when you compare it with the last one and on the other side you can actually see really really good the red hourglass marking that is how you can recognize widows and I think that she's actually done, maybe because the prey is smaller, she actually didn't need to inject that much venom as the other widow. Hmm. Because you see, oh, is she going back? Man, but this view is so good, you can actually see the glare from her eyes. Those two yellow dots, I think those are eyes, right? It is kind of hard to tell on this display, but I'm pretty sure that's what we are looking at. Oh more action it is also interesting how she didn't remove any webbing unlike the other widow it might be the case because she's not as hungry or she's waiting for something else but it looks like you see she's going to is she actually doing it now is she biting the web or yes no oh those are definitely eyes right look how she's looking at us can you get any closer yes we can yes we can awesome Awesome, now we can actually see the fangs, because of the position of the spider, the fangs are kind of visible. <laughs> Going back, looks like it or not, she's like trying to decide what to do. Oh man. Oh, more webbing, just a little bit more webbing. <laughs> she's actually so busy and oh, now she's separating the, the webbing and webbing more. Cutting more web, you see? Yep. Such a busy spider. Who would have thought how much work there is with a prey? Huh? Separating more lines. And it looks like she will now take it with her, just like the other one. So in the end, the outcome was the same. And she is webbing it more over there. <laughs> Man, oh man, I hope that you are enjoying this, this footage because I cannot wait to see it on the computer, on the big screen. It is gonna be lit. And Tarantula Cat can just simply be jealous of the quality of my uh, widow feeding videos. <laughs> Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Uh, that was enough. Now I will do the rehouses. But I will prepare all the enclosures in one time jump and voila, the enclosures are prepared. And first we are going to rehouse the, again, forgot, Latrodectus Obscurior. Yeah, that's the one. And currently in this cup feeding is such a hassle because spider is, as you can see, always on top. And when you want to open enclosures to try to feed them, then they are, you are hoping that it will go down or something and usually it doesn't go down. This is what you're hoping for, that it will go like this, then you throw the roach inside and close it. But in an enclosure like this, you don't need to worry about it because the because once the spider makes a web, it is on top and you can always easily access it because it is always in the back. As you could see from all these three setups, they are always in the back of the enclosure, which is ideal. But currently the spider is kind of freaking out inside. Because it doesn't have a web and it is in unfamiliar environment. <laughs> it will all be all right, my buddy. Don't you worry. Now this one will be for the female. Same thing. And judging by the size, this should be definitely female. And you see, this is the problem. When you're feeding, it just stays up. Come on, go on the wood. There, there, okay, chill, chill, chill. No, <laughs> same thing. It is also freaking out. Come on, girl, chill. Oh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> thankfully she had the safety line. Now, if she would only come a bit so I can 
record her underside so you can see how different it is oh there we go so you can see how different it is from the other side i guess you can see it now although you cannot see the underside please girl can you move just a little bit ah it doesn't really matter i will show her in next update videos once she makes a web and settles inside then you will see it all nice and pretty with a macro lens let's see how this girl will behave i'm wondering if she will also be freaking out like the other one oh, she's so black that the camera cannot even focus <laughs> okay 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 i will add her inside and then we can record her yeah you can actually see a different temperament or she is searching the environment but she's not freaking out as much as the other one i don't want her to go out i would say that they prefer more humid environment unlike these videos because every time i find a spider like this it is always somewhere near the water or where the water like stays for a while this one was as you saw in the gutter and underneath of her web there was a standing water so yeah that is probably the reason why they are enjoying jungleariums so much because they like the moisture the humidity and everything too bad that she doesn't want to go on the wood i really need to poke you out of this hole oh woo -hoo -hoo. nice try i was hoping that she will actually also climb the wood so i can record her better but i guess this is the shot that we need to satisfy ourselves with but once she builds a web it will be a whole different story okay now should i try to set up the camera i see that once again she's munching the the roach but she's now all the way back and there is ton of web in front and the shot just won't be as good nah i won't do it now i think that we have more than enough content in this video anyway with so much awesome close-ups and everything even the lights turned off behind me it is total darkness you see because it is 8 45 yeah okay so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did thumbs it up and comment something if you want to support this channel more there's a patreon page and the web shop go and buy the these enclosures um, if you are new to this channel make sure to subscribe upload on monday and sometimes a live stream on sunday so see you again soon bye <laughs>